Hey there. If you're someone who likes to stream with a camera and all the fun alerts and overlays, but you also want to record for YouTube without all those distracting effects, then you're probably looking for something like Branch Output. Branch Output is an OBS plugin, and with it, you can record a scene or source in OBS and then restream an entirely different scene or source containing all those extra bits of fun for a stream. So to get started, you'll want to, of course, make sure you have OBS installed, but don't open it yet. First, go to this GitHub page for branch output, link in description, scroll down to assets and choose the relevant installer for your operating system. For me, since I'm on Windows, it's going to be this Windows X64 installer signed.exe. But of course, if you're on Mac or Linux, choose yours. Now, once that's downloaded, go into the folder that it was downloaded into and double click it to bring up the installer. Now, I've already installed this, so I'm not going to show it, but you'll want to just let it make changes to your device, install it in the OBS file path, and let it do its thing. Once it's done, close out of it if it doesn't automatically, and now we can open OBS. Now that we're in OBS, you can see I already have my branch output set up. I have my game recording scene set up as well and my streaming scene set up. The stream scene is where we are going to add our branch output filter. Right click on it, choose filters, click the plus sign, and then you'll add branch output. Once you add it, you'll get something similar to this. I have two stream counts because I'm streaming to both Twitch and YouTube. If you're only streaming to one, leave it at one. So you're gonna need to grab your stream key. For Twitch, it's in Profile, Stream Summary, Settings, Stream, and you'll just copy the primary stream key. Now your server URL is always going to be this RTMP link for Twitch. But if you want to stream to both like me, set the stream count to 2, add this for your streaming server, and then get your stream key by going into YouTube Studio, Click the Go Live button, and then you'll go to the middle left here and grab that stream key. Now, once you've added all the relevant info into your branch output, remember to hit Apply. Now, I've got my branch outputs docked here from the docks up in the top left, and I just moved it here. What you might notice is that it is saying stream.active. That's because they are actually streaming right now. Of course, you don't want that if you're not trying to stream. So just click those eye icons and it'll stop. So awesome. We've got our branch output set up. Now, whenever we are on our game recording screen and we turn on the eye icon for our branch outputs, we can record without any stream overlays or cameras, but our stream will still display exactly how our scene is set up. Pretty cool. Little bit of extra info. To make sure that you have all your different audios streaming, make sure that they're all set to a specific track and inside of your branch output, set your track one source to master audio and to that track that all of them are on. So for example, on my stream, I have multiple audio sources that are going on. And if I click on the advanced audio options, you can see that they're all set to track five for streaming. So I have my mic, this extra media source, the browser for my alerts, and then the actual application that I'm using, such as the game. So those are all set to track five. So if I have master audio and I set it to track five, now this branch output will use that master audio for the stream. Now, I hope you found this helpful. I definitely wish I had a video to go over all this as it took me some time to figure it out, but hopefully I can spare you all that pain and suffering. And if it was helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more potential how-tos in the future. Have a great day.